CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 106 through 110 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great. Let's begin. Question 106. The private key for a website was stolen and a new certificate has been issued. Which of the following should be updated to ensure the stolen certificate is marked as invalid? The answer is B. CRL. A certificate revocation list, or CRL for short, is a list of digital certificates that have been revoked before their scheduled expiration date. If a private key is compromised, the associated certificate must be revoked and the CRL must be updated so that clients can check and reject the invalid certificate. This helps prevent attackers from using the stolen certificate to impersonate a trusted service. Question 107. A security team is preparing to collect digital evidence following a suspected security breach. To support potential legal action, the company must ensure that the evidence remains unchanged from the time it was collected. Which of the following elements of digital forensics best meets this requirement? The answer is A. Preservation. Preservation is the process of safeguarding digital evidence to ensure it remains unchanged from the moment it is collected. This step is essential for maintaining the integrity and reliability of the evidence throughout the investigation. To support this element of digital forensics, organizations also maintain a chain of custody, which documents who accessed the evidence and when. Together, preservation and a clear chain of custody ensure that the evidence is trustworthy and legally admissible if needed. Question 108. During the initial phase of a penetration test, a tester gathers publicly available information about a company, including employee names, email addresses, and organizational structure. Which of the following techniques is the tester most likely using? The answer is D. OSINT. Open Source Intelligence, also known as OSINT, is a passive reconnaissance technique that involves collecting publicly available information, such as company websites, social media, press releases, and job postings. This method is commonly used in the early stages of penetration testing to build a profile of the target without directly interacting with its systems. OSINT may also include publicly posted data that can support social engineering attempts later in the engagement. Question 109. A security analyst wants to monitor user and device behavior to identify potential threats that may not match known attack signatures. The analyst is looking for a solution that can detect deviations from normal patterns and provide detailed visibility into endpoint activity. Which of the following should the analyst use? The answer is C. Endpoint detection and response. Endpoint detection and response, commonly abbreviated as EDR, is a security solution designed to monitor, record, and analyze endpoint activity to detect suspicious behavior. It establishes a baseline of normal actions for users and devices, allowing it to identify anomalies that could indicate a threat. EDR tools provide deep visibility into endpoint events, helping analysts investigate incidents and respond quickly to potential breaches. Question 110. An organization is reviewing its data policies to ensure compliance with local and international laws, including requirements for how long specific types of data must be stored. Which of the following aspects of the data management lifecycle is most directly impacted by these regulations? The answer is C. Data retention. Policies that govern data retention define how long different types of data must be stored before they are deleted or archived. These policies are heavily influenced by local and international regulations, which may require certain records to be kept for specific durations. By following a defined retention policy, organizations can ensure they meet compliance requirements, avoid penalties, and manage storage effectively. 
Properly implemented retention policies also support privacy and data protection efforts. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.